I'm Kobe. And I'm Kara. Welcome back to Half TV. National Honor Society is having their introductory meeting on October 19th from 5.30 to 6.30. Class of 2019 will be meeting Thursday to have their discussion about t-shirt designs for the Halloween. Brittany Hernandez has been accepted to six colleges and good luck to all those seniors. Now on to Spanish with Maria. Buenos días a todos. La palabra de esta semana es alma. La alma es considerada la parte inmortal que construye el ser humano. El consejo de esta semana es que tú eres único o única. No dejes que nadie te diga lo contrario. Alma. Alma. Now on to weather with Josh in the nurse's office. Hello. This week expect more rain than usual. The weather is going to be Josh isn't safe anywhere. <sighs> Anyways, this week Juliana has some special guests. Here she is with that story. We're here with three of the grand champion candidates that are running, Jeremiah Delgado, Isaiah Cole, and Andrea Alvarez. Can you guys describe yourselves in a couple words? Well, if I could describe myself in a couple words, I would say bold, outgoing, charismatic, and intelligent. Um, if I were to describe myself, I would say athletic, uh, creative, and really hardworking. Uh, well, if I would uh, describe myself, I would say I'm really smart, um, outgoing, and I know how to listen. Those are all good traits. So, um, in your point of view, what makes you guys fit to be grand champion, a good grand champion? Why should we vote for you? Well, I would say I would be a, a good candidate because, well, I'm new to Haas, and I have fresh ideas. And like, most of our candidates uh, have been attending Haas, for most of the time, and well, because I'm new, I probably have fresh ideas. I can bring in new stuff in that I probably be uh, known from other places. Um, I'd be a great grand champion because I'm really friendly. So like, I get along with everybody. Um, I'm really friendly with the middle school too. I have a lot of friends in there, and I have great connections and whatnot. I'm really um, known as a good student without throughout the school. So like, all the teachers know me, and they would um, trust my abilities. So, uh, in addition to all of those, I think I'd be fit to be grand champion because, honestly, I've like looked at the grand champions in the past, so I kind of like seen what shouldn't be done and what should be done, and I've been thinking about it, and I'm really into this project, but only because like I want change for the school and for good things to come, not just for high schoolers, but for middle schoolers and every student, even staff, because everybody here, you know, I just have fresh ideas that I want to give to everyone. And, I'm sure everybody here knows my name, and so I'm well known, and they can genuinely say that they could trust me as grand champion. That's wonderful, all of you, all your responses. So that concludes our interview. Thank you very much. Back to Juliana with the new Student Spotlight of the Week. We're here with the Student Spotlight of the Week for 10th grade. Juan Sepulveda, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. My name is Juan. I enjoy playing sports, and I love video games. Nice. So what is your favorite thing about school? My favorite thing about school would have to be the teachers and how badly they want their students to succeed. Nice. So out of everything, what is your secret to school success? My secret, I would have to say, is controlling my procrastination and studying really hard. Okay. So next year's junior year, are you excited for the challenges that it will bring? Definitely. I'm excited for the challenges. That concludes our interview. Thank you very much. We're here with Mr. Meyer. Can you tell us a little bit why you guys chose Juan as the Student Spotlight of the Week? I'd love to tell you why we chose Juan. Juan is hardworking, awesome, studious, and tender-hearted. He represents what is great about Hast. That's great. 
So out of everything, what outstanding qualities does he portray in the classroom and show towards others? Uh, in the nine weeks that I've known Juan, uh, Juan is very uh, conscientious of his, uh, his grades. He's always wanted to perform well in class, uh, and especially in social studies class, and I imagine all of his classes. Um, he too is very kind towards others, and once again, I feel like he represents what's great about Hast. Yeah. So, if you could describe one in one word, what would it be? Uh, it would definitely be conscientious. Once again, caring about his grades uh, in all of his classes, and also caring about his fellow peers. That's wonderful. So that concludes our interview. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Finally, on to sports with Mia. Hello, I'm here with Destiny Smith, varsity co-captain of the volleyball team. Can you describe this season in a couple of words? I would say that we fought really hard for each game and it was fun. Like we all got closer and we won a lot of games, so it was better than expected. Alright. You're a senior this year, obviously, so do you have any advice for the upcoming team next year? I would say to, you know, it's a game, so always try your hardest. But remember, it is just a game, so have fun with your teammates and make memories. That's the most important part. That's good. Uh, if there was anything you would like to change of this season, what would it be? Um, I wish we would have started off as strong as we did in the end because we started off very slow. We lost a lot of games, but towards the end we went like on a two-week game streak and it was a lot of fun, so wish we would have done that in the beginning, but still good. Now you start sectionals today. Are you nervous? Oh yeah, definitely. We're going against a really hard team that we've played the last two years, but I mean, we've gotten better, so I have no doubt that we'll at least put up an effort and give it our all. So. Okay. Well, that's it. Thank you and good luck. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Hats TV. Come back next week for a brand new episode.